guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. You didn't think by starting a new year we was going to stop the Travel Diary series, did you? Well, I hope not because we've got plenty more planned for it. But I was thinking how best to kick off 2023. What could I do that is kind of different because we've got a log cabin, log cabin, log cabin. Right, I will say this is, um, I think it's my third. <laughs> I have been on the gins tonight, okay? The Baileys has gone, but we're moving into spring. So the gins are coming in and slightly getting used to it. I must say that. I must get used to it. I have got a lemon gin with Fanta Fruit Twist as my mixer. Let me just tell you, don't knock it until you try because it's blooming delicious, okay? So I've got a log cabin <laughs> next month, but I'm not actually abroad abroad until September. However, there are a few other little things that I want to add into the travel diaries. So I thought, you know what? Kicking off the year of 2023, I want to tell you guys my ultimate travel bucket list. And this ranges from trips of a lifetime, abroad, like city break styles and hotels. I've tried to narrow it down to 10 roughly for each category, but some of them are a little over, okay? Oopsie. YouTube doesn't let you put too much writing down in the descriptions box below. So what I will do is I will leave the names of everywhere that I've said. But if you want direct links or anything like that, just let me know down in the comments box and I will send you a direct link. Because there are a lot. Okay, there are a lot. And this is without my London block by block book, which if you saw my one I got for Christmas, it's basically everything and anything to do with London from coffee shops to galleries to stuff to do with royal heritage and gardens, everything like that. And of course they are my bucket list and I want to have a little thing that I do with that so every time I go there take a little photo print it out on my Canon printer which I've absolutely been obsessing over since Christmas and again pop that in like a little form of a memory book or a scrapbook so shall we stop rabbiting because I have actually got a few books that if you are looking to get into travel or just some ideas and inspiration for travel I would highly recommend so gonna take a few sips of the old gin and I would say gin and tonic but it's gin and fanta don't knock it until you try it and shall we get into the ultimate 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 travel bucket list for if Shannon Lee money was no object this would be where we was going <laughs> I feel it's quite fitting as well that the theme is travelling and I've actually got my new galaxy bedding on that Mama G got me for Christmas. So I feel like I could be away with the moons and the cloud. Which, oh my god guys, I actually saw the moon the other morning on my drive to work. Clear as day. It was gorgeous. So, so nice. And I just think, oh, imagine what's on there. If you could travel to the moon, would you travel to the moon? I don't know. I'd be fascinated. I know that for sure. But... Because I can tell we're going to, we'll be sitting here for an hour talking about the moon. There are a couple of books that, I'm not going to lie, I have had for a while and haven't really paid attention to. But I was having a little bit of a tidy up when I was bringing bits in from Christmas. And I was going through my books because I didn't realise actually how many I had. Not just the books that I read, but also like cookery books and motivation books and everything like that. And I thought, you know what? I'm sure I have travel books so I will try and leave these linked down below if I can still find them but I believe I picked this up somewhere like Urban Outfitters I think both of these actually come from Urban Outfitters but this one is a hundred cities of the world a journey through the most fascinating cities around the globe now something like this you probably think well you're never going to visit a hundred cities of the world absolutely but I like just sitting and reading, or with these, pretty much I flick through the pages until I find an area I like. So it covers all of Africa, Asia, Europe, Central and South America, North America, and Oceania. Oceania? Oceania? However you say that. And I just thought it was really fascinating. And if, say, for example, you are going to a certain place and you feel like I want to explore the capital, for example. So here, South Africa, Cape Town. Now, Dada has actually been quite a bit to South Africa. He used to go out there with my nan and granddad when they worked out there. And he's done like, um, I want to say Johannesburg, Cape Town. There's a place with a big rock. Oh my God, if you're from South Africa, I do not mean any offence. I can't remember the name of the rock. But I remember him talking about it quite, quite vividly. So yeah, I thought, ooh. 
that looks cute and then you go through where's some that i would actually love to go i tell you what for the amount of times i went to greece as a child i never went to athens but again athens would be somewhere i would absolutely love to go and you know what should we just do like a random stop oh wow random stop and we've stopped on kiev in ukraine it's gutting that that is not like that anymore it was beautiful beautiful Czech Republic, Prague, Paris. So there is quite a few in here regarding Europe that you may see on my list. And looking at this, there could be some uh, new ones that I want to pop in. So that I would recommend. And so I will try and leave that link down below for you. And then this is a brand in Urban Outfitters. I'm sure you could probably get it in Waterstones or something like that. And it's Lonely Planet. And this one is Lonely Planet's Ultimate Travel List. The 500 best places on the planet ranked. Now, if I remember correctly, I have had this god donkey's years. Absolutely donkey's years. And it was expensive. I feel like it was like £25, £30. But I've had it, I would say, from maybe when I was like 18. Because it was when, obviously, I started to go on holidays on my own. And I was like, I love this. And then they give you a map inside. I would love to complete this. I would actually love to complete this. And it is the ultimate 100. Right, I'm going to try and show you and not knock anything. Can you see that kind of, my lovely? Sorry if you can't, but I don't feel like knocking my glass of gin or my sprays or anything like that. So, according to this, the top travel thing in the world is Temples of Ang Angkor. Where's number one? Oh, it's in Thailand. Great Barrier Reef. Oh my god, number 15 is the British Museum. We are on there, guys. UK is on there. Number 36 is the Lake District National Park. See? I went to Lake District last year. Do you think I went to the National Park? No. I went to the gin distillery. Didn't go to the National Park, though, Sean. Oopsie. Yeah, so this... It sounds really corny, but I would love to, like, put this in a frame... And hang it somewhere whenever I get my own place. There's like a little, you know what? Shall we go and see what it's like of the world? So, this, wow, there's a lot. Okay, it literally is. So, the number one place in the world, this is ranked number one out of 500 places, is the Temples of Angkor. And it's in Cambodia. Wow. Look how gorgeous that looks. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that? That almost flew out and blinded me. Guys, the videos for 2023 are starting with a disaster, aren't they? If you saw the home bargains haul, you will know about the cardboard box incident. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, but if you've seen it, you will know what I'm talking about. This has almost attacked me. This, I'm not going to lie, this is on my list. The Great Barrier Reef. I would love to scuba dive in the Great Barrier Reef. And also here... These are so many. Grand Canyon National Park. Wow. Oh, my God. Iguaza Falls. Brazil slash Argentina. Look at that. Just look at that. And also, do you see this? Coliseum number seven. Rank number seven in the world. The Coliseum holds a very, very big part in my travel bucket list. But, yeah, I just like to look through these and kind of, like, get ideas. I absolutely love that the British History Museum is in this. That just England. British History Museum. I love that. We made it to number 15 out of 500 things in the world, my lovelies. Well, that's me waffling on. I feel like this brand, Lonely Planet, also has a lot more collective books. So, I definitely think I'm going to have a look. Because I'm not going to lie, this one's quite battered and marked. And part of me feels like I don't want a battered and marked one. I might see if they're not too pricey now, I might actually pick myself up a new one. And then I can donate this to a charity shop along with some other bits. Because we are having like a big clear out soon as well. So we will be back to our charity shop with the bags of plenty. When they see us coming down, they're like, <gasps> because literally we don't go in with a couple of bags. We are there with like a car full. And I'm like, hey, I'm here for my six monthly donation. But... Mm -mm -mm. so how this is going to work 
I haven't yet decided which notepad slash scrapbook slash journal I want to use for my ultimate travel list just yet. So I have my trusty mermaid cat notebook, which hasn't got many pages left. I feel like we're going to have to branch out and use a new one, but this has done me. I am going to keep this diary because, well, diary notepad because there's some bits in here from when i very very first started youtube and it was like all my planning and everything and i looked over the ideas the other morning and i thought my god i had so many ideas and some of them i still haven't done and i read some of them and i think you can actually do that so i will still keep it probably take out the scribbles like these but yeah i will be keeping the mermaid goals we are going to kick off with my ultimate travel destination list abroad so <laughs> still a little bit coffee sorry guys right i can't rank these in any particular order however i will say the number one which you will know if you saw my 73 questions with vogue my number one destination i would love to visit in my lifetime is bora bora or like the maldives Bora Bora slash Maldives, number one destinations in my life. I would be very happy. Oh, I'm getting a taste for this gin again. Whoo! <laughs> that is nice. So, yes, Bora Bora or Maldives. If I went to Bora Bora, if I remember correctly, there is a hotel called the four seasons i think don't quote me but if i went you know the overwater bungalows where you have the slide that comes down into the sea wow if i went to the maldives i would love to stay in the hard rock maldives i think it opened up i want to say not last christmas the christmas before and you know me i love hard rock chains whether it be cafes or hotels i absolutely love it oh if only traveling was free eh, guys you would have travel vlogs this would be a traveling vlog channel hey ho and then so as i say i can't put them in any order i would however like to travel to all or as many as i can caribbean islands or caribbean islands i don't quite know is it caribbean or is it caribbean let me know down below I have done Cuba and Dominican Republic. I know it's not necessarily a Caribbean island because it's South America, but I class my little Mexico adventures within that as well. This year we are going to Jamaica. When I say we, I mean me and you guys, we are going to Jamaica. And then I have like Aruba, Antigua, St. Lucia, Barbados, Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago. There are so many. I would like to do as many as I can. If there are any islands that you think I need to do, let me know down below. And of course, <laughs> I will add them to this ever-grown list. And even if I got to go to one of these places on this list, whether it be this, the city breaks or the hotel cabins, I would feel achieved, you know? Life would be achieved. And I feel like you need to have things that you can kind of look forward to and aspire to even if you know right some of these on here i know i will never ever ever in my lifetime get to go to these but a girl can dream eh? a girl can dream and as long as you have that dream and you have that fire you're gonna be all right caribbean bora bora yes please now i would like to do america I know I'm not allowed in yet because I'm not jabbed, but if we're looking down the future, I could potentially get jabbed. They might drop the restrictions. Anything like that, we shall see. But it's very different areas of America I would like to go to. So I would kick it off. Or, oh no, see, I don't know. I don't know the number one place in America I'd like to go to. Because I have like a collection all for different reasons. So mm, <laughs> Would I would I be trusted in this place? I don't know. I would love to go to Vegas. I mean, it could be cliche. I just want to go down the strip. You know what I'm most excited about? The food. Might have a little bit of a flutter. I would love to do, because I believe in 
Vegas is the Grand Canyon. And I always see there's like a little... I don't know if it's like... You know what we have in London? The little um, oh, cable cars. There's something like that that I think you can do throughout Vegas. And it takes you into like a shopping mall. I don't know if that's correct now. If you know what I'm talking about or know roughly what I'm talking about, please let me know down below. But yeah... I would absolutely, oh my goodness, I just knocked you. I do apologise. I'm not naked, naked. I do have cycling shorts and I am in a, uh, I was going to say dressing gown. I'm in a nightshirt. <laughs> I'm in a nightshirt, but yeah, girl gets cramped, didn't she? So I would like to do Vegas side. Of course, I would love to do New York side in winter, aka the month of December, Christmas time. Number one, the shopping, okay? We all know your girl loves a little bit of shopping. I would also like to go there to do the traditional touristy things. To go to the diner where they all sing. What is that called? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. There's a diner in New York where everyone sings. It's like um, a West End diner in a way. I would love to do the horse and carriage ride around Central Park to go and have a corn dog at like 2 a.m. in the morning because the food is immense, let me tell you that. To have a huge cup of piping hot coffee. Yes, please. Yes, please. So as you can see, two different vibes. Two different vibes completely. Vegas, party, gamble. Well, maybe not too much gambling. New York, shopping. Like little cute memories, you know? And then it goes a whole nother turn, 360. Florida. I am the biggest kid, as you can tell. I've got Stitch here. Stitch for Christmas. He's still there. He's just at the back there. But I thought we'd bring the little bigger guy to the front because you will still see Christmas Stitch. Christmas Stitch is going to be a, a lifelong member of the family all year round. But I thought we'd give the big guy some uh, time as well. I would love to do the whole Florida, like Orlando vibes, like Disney, I want the ears, I want the picture in front of the castle with the ears, I don't care if I'm 40 years old, I don't care if I'm 50, if I'm 60, 70, 80, however long I live, I don't care how old I am, I want the little ears and I would love my picture in front of the castle, but I would also love to go there for like the whole Warner Brothers vibes, Harry Potter world. That, that is a lifelong yes. To actually walk down the Diagon Alley. Oh my god. It was just, ah! And then again, another 360 turn. I would love to do what I would call... Now, I'm not very good with geography. So I don't actually know if it's southern. But to me, like, southern, rustic, country fire America. Like, Texas, San Francisco, New Orleans. Kind of like Route 66, I think, vibes. If I'm completely wrong, I am so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, just kind of like where I can walk around in cowboy boots and some nice denim jeans and a checkered shirt and a little hat and love my life. So as you can tell, <laughs> there are some very different areas of America I would like to travel to. And if there is anywhere else that you guys have been, because say I've never travelled to America, if there is anywhere that you think you've been or you've heard of and think Shan needs to go there, please do let me know, okay? Because I say I'm all here for building this list up. Bali. Bali, Bali, Bali. My God. All I see on my TikTok is Bali. And it looks lovely. Don't get me wrong, I also do see the realistic videos of people with, um, it seems like there's a lot of sickness bugs, or just bugs in general, however, <laughs> I mean, so is England at the moment, I cannot shift this, as you can tell, and from reading the comments, a lot of you guys have had it as well, so, I don't know what's going on with this world and this virus and that, so, if I could uh, be getting ill and I'd be abroad, I'd much rather that than being in this cold weather, let me tell you that. Bali for me just looks, you know, just like the typical spa relaxation at one with nature vibe. 
that's what I get and I think it could be a very very lovely holiday lovely holiday indeed part of me wants to also tackle Asia <sighs> quite a bit the standard places that you probably hear everyone say Phuket and Thailand and everything like that but I would love to actually like branch out as well and go to Japan and Singapore my girl who I used to work with her brother lives in Japan and oh when she used to tell me stories or I see photos, I'd be like, oh, I want to go there. My cousin went out there many years ago. She'd done the whole dressing up as like a geisha vibes. And she said the food was immense. She had a massive back tattoo out there, which I was just like, wow, I need to experience that. But yeah, I would love to tackle a lot of Asia. I'm not going to lie. And again, if there's any places in Asia that you think, Shan, you need to go there. Kind of like around now would i like to go to china to see the great wall of china potentially maybe i don't know maybe yeah we could add that to the list as i say if there's anywhere that you think shan you need to go let me know now i think this could be quite controversial this one because whenever i say i like to go here i have get one or two responses oh my god yes i would love to go too no, I couldn't think of anything worse. And that is Dubai. I don't know if I could do a two-week holiday in Dubai. I don't know if there's that much to do out in Dubai. I'm not going to be um, beat around the bush. I haven't done much research. It's just somewhere that I think it just screams for me to go. I would love to go and experience it. Um, I would like to do, I think it's like the sand, sand, um, Oh, what's it like the carts in the sand and camels and everything like that i would love to do stuff like that um shopping again shopping and the food the food looks absolutely amazing and then as we saw great barrier reef i would love to go to australia absolutely would love to with australia i would want to do i think like a month or six weeks out there yeah i'd really want to travel and experience out there and alongside that i would love to do new zealand i would love to see a traditional hacker i would love to try their foods i would love to see like their national heritage i just think those places are literally a world away from ours they are practically on the other side of the world to us and if you go there i just think you could have so many memories and make so many i don't know just lifelong memories that you would take with you beyond the grave Beyond whatever, those would be implanted in your memory forever. And also, this kind of falls in with America. Well, it does because it's Memphis, but this comes under another section. But you know me and Mama G, we absolutely love Elvis Presley. I would love to go to Memphis, more importantly, Graceland. I would absolutely love to go to Graceland, um, as I say, but I won't touch on too much for that because that actually goes into another category. And the last, like, ultimate place I would love to go if money was no issue is Hawaii. Hawaii, again, Elvis Presley. And if you know me as well, and my little friend here, Lilo and Stitch, one of my favourite films, is set in Hawaii. I would absolutely go wild in there to get the lay. Oh my god, I would love it. I would want to learn the proper hula dancing. I'd love it. I would absolutely be in my element. I would love to get like a genuine, authentic Hawaiian t shirt. Yes, the ones with the bright colored flowers. I think they would be absolutely amazing. But yeah, as you can tell, like my abroad bucket travel list, my Ultima, is kind of like a bit everywhere and anywhere, ain't it? Everywhere and anywhere. Oh, oh my god, I completely didn't see this, but Lapland, I would like to go to Santa's home before I depart from this earth. I would love to go to Lapland, okay? Lapland, Huskies, oh my god, the whole thing, the whole shebang. My lovelies, I'm going to have a, a little bit of a refreshment, because I have been rabbiting on for a while. Canon is flashing, so I need to change the battery. Thank goodness I've uh, been productive and charged them all today. And then when we come back, we can get into our city breaks. This... I am very excited for. <laughs> right, so I know we have a book of 100 cities in the world. I don't think I'm going to get to 100 cities in the world. I'm not going to lie. So I've tried to do it for the ones that mean the most to me, okay? So I'm going to keep it very short and sweet because I don't, 
it probably sounds really silly. I don't know every single city or every single county in the UK, but I would love to tour a lot more of the UK. I would love to go and tour like Edinburgh, Glasgow, Scotland, all of that jazz. I would love to do Liverpool, Manchester, Birmingham, everything like that. London, absolutely love to be a London. But I also want to try and maybe do some of the counties because I feel like there's so much within England that people don't discover and I think we have some absolute beauties and that's why I love doing the log cabins because you get to explore these areas and I don't think you would typically go to them I mean I never done a log cabin really before the big sea and it was only because we couldn't get abroad that I opted for one and now they are a staple every year I love to go to a log cabin so we're going to kick it off UK cities I've also put now <laughs> this is going to sound really silly I don't know if this falls within UK cities but I would love to go to Dublin which is in Ireland I feel like this is part of the UK I feel it's Northern Ireland that is separate please in the comments I'm not really good with geography so um yeah I don't really know but I would love to go to Ireland um I would love to do Dublin I would love to do like Cork and Shannon and everything like that I would love to do the Guinness tour definitely would love to do the Guinness tour but yeah just seems really fun and one of my friends went back years ago and they was like honestly the pub crawls in Dublin are next level. And I'm like, oh, I would be partial to a pub crawl. Let me tell you that. Maybe not on top of everyone's list, but I would love to go to Copenhagen in Denmark. Because if I remember correctly, there's something to do with like a mermaid statue or the little mermaid is there. And I love the whole kind of like Scandinavian section. So like you would have Copenhagen in Denmark I would love to go to maybe now this is where I say my Scandi areas and then I'm just absolutely atrocious like so Scandinavia I'm thinking is it like Aspen oh my god Aspen's not I feel like Aspen's in America or Canada <laughs> I am actually terrible with geography oops yes oops indeed I had to apologize but you know like around that area guys where you can get like a big bratwurst sausage i know that's in germany but around i'm sure i saw a video it might have been actually in denmark and they had a deer bratwurst but oh my god it looked absolutely delicious probably one that quite a lot of people have probably gone to i still haven't ventured there yet amsterdam there is many a things in amsterdam i would love to do um a lot of it would be like history i would like to go there and there's a lot of stuff with like Anne frank and everything there i would love to ride the little cycles i would love to ride the cycles over there and like take the tram take the trams and try i think they're called a kerfuffle i'm not too sure you know the waffle that they put on top of the cups of coffee and then it's like the caramel seeps in i would love to have one of them now if you saw one of our vlogmases, you will know that me and mum went to an exhibition in London which was to do with Auschwitz. So, of course, and I've been saying this for years, I would love to go to Krakow in Poland and go to Auschwitz. And it's not going to be for everyone's cup of tea, I completely get that. But for me, I do like to do a bit of history whenever I'm on any type of travel, whether it be a city break, a log cabin, and a board holiday. I always like to do something that has a bit of history and heritage to it, you know? Um, and yeah, I've seen on TikTok so many people's tours when they've been at Auschwitz and I'm just like, I need to go there and physically see it for my eyes because for the tour at London, it didn't seem real at all. It just didn't, I don't know, it, you think how, how was that even possible? But it was. And I think to actually see it in the place it took place, I think would be a very surreal and um, poignant moment in my life. And definitely something that I feel I need to experience while I'm here on this earth. Venice. Yes, I would love to go to the gondolas, but not just that. I would love to have some great pizza. <laughs> great pizza, great ice cream. It just looks cute. However, please don't get me wrong. I have been told that Venice may not be as it seems in the pictures. I've been told the lakes sometimes are not in the pristine condition. The smell can sometimes be a bit of put in, but... With any of these places that I'm saying, my lovelies, if you have been and you know kind of like what is the best 
thing to do there or the best time of the year to go there please do let me know down below because i will screenshot them all and i've got like a little folder on my laptop which is like my travel folder and i put everything in there to do with like screenshots that i see online web pages book snippets everything like that so yeah any um advice would be highly appreciated oh of course paris 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 of course that is on my list I feel like I'm very late to the train. Why are you jiggling? You're on a flat coaster. <laughs> I feel like I'm very late to the train with Paris. Like, I just feel like everyone's been there and I haven't. I really haven't. Paris, again, I think there is so much to do. There is so much, like, history and heritage and culture. And, again, the food. All I see is people having, like, a proper hot chocolate in Paris where it's, like, with the whipped cream and the pastries oh yes the pastries look immense let me tell you that um i would love to see the eiffel tower i would love to have that photo like when the eiffel tower is glistening oh yes i would absolutely love it love it love it love it and that I, again i hear mixed reviews with that I think you have to take these places at point blank. Um, I hear people say it's fabulous. I hear people say, no, it's not that great. But you never know unless you try, do you? So I would like to go myself and then I can have my opinion and not have it voiced through other opinions, you know? Up there, up there, up there, up there. Iceland, Finland area. Iceland predominantly for Reykjavik. I think that's how you call it. Did I butcher that? I do apologise. Or like Finland, around those areas to see the Northern Lights. I would absolutely love to see the Northern Lights. I would love to be in like a little igloo overlooking the horizons of snow. And oh, if you have been to any of these, because sometimes people say to me, don't go into main Iceland because you can see the Northern Lights from like other places and it's not expensive, well, as expensive as Iceland. Let me know on that. If you have seen the Northern Lights, where did you see them? Like kind of what time of the year is the best to go, do you think? And yeah, that one, big help would be needed because that is up there on my city breaks. I would love to go and do that, guys. Now, Amalfi Coast. I think it's the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Don't shoot me. <laughs> I can't remember what is on the Amalfi Coast. I remember I've watched a few vlogs of people that have travelled and I think it's two or three islands that you get like boats to. And can I just say, half of these places I go for the food. I actually go for the food because I just love my food. What can I say? But the scenery there actually does look breathtaking. Um, the boat trips between the two islands and also the shopping. The shopping in the Amalfi Coast looks amazing, like very high-end chic, but like for a fraction of the price. That's the vibe that I get. Okay, that's the vibe that I get. And kind of along those similar vibes... I don't think these are classed as cities. These, I think, are classed as islands. But there are two islands in Greece that I would love to go to. You know from my travel diaries when I was a kid, we went to Greece quite a lot. We went to Zakynthos and Kefalonia, Kos, Crete, a few little places. But I would love to go to Mykonos and Santorini. Santorini, I think, is pretty much on majority of people's lists, if I'm not wrong, because it just looks the number one place to go and relax. However, again, I have seen people's picture where it looks like they're the only one on the steps. When you look behind that camera, it is heaving. So again, what time? Have you been to Santorini or Mykonos? If you've been to both, what one would you say is better? What reasoning? Do they have a bit of a nightlife? Is it more just for the food and the scenery? I am someone <laughs> who likes to say she likes to travel, but sometimes I don't have a clue. And this is where I like you guys to try and help me with it. So yeah absolutely love it and my last city break which also ties in with the next category is rome rome is somewhere i have wanted to go i think since i was like 18 or 19 but it has never been of interest to any other people so i've never gone i have a real passion for history in terms of like greeks and romans i love studying them at school so for me i would love to go to rome and see the Colosseum. if i went to rome i would like to go once and have it done so it ties in with the next bit because I found like a very specific place that I would love to stay. And the whole thing with Rome, again, it's the food. 
Guys, you're going to think that she literally just wants to travel and eat food and stuff her face. I do. I actually do. That's the thing, though. But, yeah, Rome is somewhere I think I could... You say city break. City breaks, you think, what, two, three days? I feel like Rome, I could do, like, a full five days, even maybe a week. I feel like there is so much to do. But, again, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct your girl if she's wrong and say to her, like, Shane, you need, like, three or four days max. But city breaks, there's quite a few. I'm not going to lie. There is quite a few. However just you wait because we are going to be ending it but I don't think we're ending it very soon because I've got a lot to talk about in this next section and it is hotels slash cabins worldwide worldwide get a drink my lovelies and get comfy <laughs> right hotels and cabins worldwide and when I say worldwide guys we are covering ground around the world with these specific hotels or types of hotels let's say that i would love to stay in so the first collection that as i say i haven't found one that i'm like oh my god i need to stay there but it's a collection that i've seen and i have never seen a bad one but to book these oh my god i'm not gonna lie you need to book 18 months to two years in advance they get so so fully booked it is a joke Literally, I think I looked last Christmas and it wasn't until like, not this year, next summer. And I would love to stay in a treehouse. Treehouse, we all know I love a log cabin, but treehouses just look on another level. You have a treehouse with a bath on a balcony in a treehouse. Like, how? What? <laughs> Why? And they are, I believe you can get them all over England and Europe. There are a few that I've seen within like Belgium and France area, which I thought was amazing. However, I would like to maybe stick for the UK in tree houses just because I don't know. I feel like all my cabins and tree houses, I would like to be UK based and just explore nature in a way. But yeah, if you have ever been lucky enough to stay in a tree house, please do let me know or if you know of any websites in particular you know me i go on ho seasons ho seasons is my website for log cabins tree houses they've started to do like um where you can do little breaks away on boats that looks very funky to go away on a boat and i mean i wouldn't be driving the boat i am by no shape or mean a sailor pilot we well, wouldn't definitely not be a sailor driving a boat shan aye 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 girl i mean come on Let's get that uh, noggy working, shall we? But yeah, I would love to stay in a treehouse. Moving and linked again with our abroad ones, I would love to stay in Graceland's Hotel. I think it's called the Heartbreak Hotel for Elvis Presley. So if I go to certain areas, there are like certain places I would love to stay when I'm in that area so I can be like, yep, done it. For example, when I went to Cancun, I wanted to stay in the Hard Rock Cancun. Done that, tick off my list cannot wait because that's on here to stay at more hard rock hotels guys i would love to be able to say i've eaten at this hard rock and i've stayed here because hard rock for me is a completely different hotel experience to any other that i've ever had because it's almost like well it is it's like a museum as well when you're there because you have the artifacts like if you go in a hard rock cafe you have the artifacts and the music bits and bobs and oh it's just amazing Cancun for me the memories that I had there and just the hotel experience itself is probably up there with one of the best holidays that I've had apart from obviously Dominican is my number one because it was me <laughs> me myself and I but the hotel for Cancun and like the atmosphere of Cancun absolutely love so hard rock oh where do I even start hard rock they do in Maldives so, like we said earlier, I would love to stay in the Hard Rock Maldives. Oh, they have a Hard Rock in Ibiza. I feel like they have one in, like, Portugal or Gran Canaria that's opened. They have a Hard Rock in Florida. They have a Hard Rock in River Maya. They had one in Punta Cana. Punta Cana and River Maya, I know I've done them, but they were lovely areas. Like, I know I say, oh, I'll go once, I would never go back. But I feel like I would go back again to go to those hotels and maybe experience it for a different side, like a bit more of a party vibe. Hard Rock is a chain that I really want to like add to my little collections. Like I would love to stay at the Hard Rock London. Oh wow. The Hard Rock London and then go to like the food and the restaurant. Oh, absolutely fantastic. 
along like with a chain let's say so we have hard rock i would love to stay at some disney hotels so if i went to paris i would love to maybe like try and stay at the disney paris on campus because there's like a big the castle ain't it oh my god i'd love to stay there i would actually love to stay there oh i don't know i would say that they have a disney hotel in like florida i would like to think so if you've done any disney hotels let me know which you think is the best or what ones have you stayed in what makes disney disney that probably sounds so silly but is it literally just a hotel with disney bits and bobs or is the service and the whole experience just a total different vibe i would love to know <laughs> you're gonna think this is so weird i've never been to brighton and brighton is definitely on my list for like either a road trip or jump on a train and go for a weekend and i would love to stay at the grand um my aunt and uncle used to stay there and i remember they would show me pictures as a kid and i'd be like wow because it overlooks like the pier or the marina if i remember correctly it also i think is the hotel that Del boy stayed at in only fools and horses when they like won their money or got rich and they're at the um grand i feel like it's the episode with the peckham spring water because they're at like this big posh hotel in brighton and then he brings the water and it illuminates at the end of the um episode but the grand oh my god i see the rooms and i'm just like oh. and for me i feel like brighton would be a very fun place to go i feel brighton if you booked early in advance would be like so great for a bank holiday weekend like a three night four day there because if i remember correctly there's like is there like a viewing point on brighton pier i think i've seen something to do like a virgin viewing point correct me if i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong um you obviously have like the pier and the marina and i think there's even stuff like madame tussauds and bits and bobs like that i just like fun stuff like here we don't really have much like, i could travel to our nearest like I wouldn't say like seaside -y seaside, but like you have like Leon Sea or a little bit further you'd have like say maybe South End and bits and bobs, but to have like a prop proper big one. But saying that, I feel like Brighton could get very busy. But I don't know. Definitely on there with my list. Like when I was little, we used to go to Blackpool. Blackpool is a lot further than what I ever remembered it as a kid. So I don't think I would just be getting in a car or getting on a train and popping up there. But again, that used to be a great little weekend away when um, I was little. We used to go down with my nan and granddad. And, oh, the memories I have down Blackpool, eh? And then, right. You know when I said, like, if I go to specific places, I am very specific about the hotels. So if I ever went to Rome, I'm probably going to butcher the name, so I do apologise. It would be the Hotel Palazzo Manfredi. And when I tell you you could not get any closer to the Colosseum if you tried just google the photos as i say i will leave the names of all of the places that i've spoke about down below and literally just copy and paste them into google you will see oh guys the rooms number one modern modern as anything and they have a bath you know me i'm very particular if i go away it has to have a bath you probably think shan just shut up and get in the shower but <clears throat> I like to have a bath. I like to soak and relax. And the bathroom in it looks amazing. Oh, don't be going on me now. Come on. <laughs> you know, you can just feel your throat's going. Like, no, no, not yet. This, honestly, you open your balcony doors and the Coliseum is there. It is there. There's a few others that I've seen, but I'd probably say if I went to Rome, <laughs> I'd probably want to go like two or three times because there are a few hotels, kind of different parts of Rome, but... The one that I would primarily go, I would love to go to see the Colosseum, and that would be this, the Hotel Palazzo Manfredi. I really hope I've said that right. I really hope I've said that right. If I haven't, I do apologise. And then, back to the UK. Back to the good old UK to see what they've got to offer. Carden Park Spa. It's in Chester. Chesterfield? Chester? I feel it's Chester. Oh my God, I see that everywhere on my TikTok everywhere on my tiktok and it looks amazing absolutely amazing if i wanted to go away for like a long weekend i would definitely go there i would be like you know what i'm packing my suitcase get in the car and off i go i think they like do packages for like hen nights and everything like that but it does look absolutely lovely and i think because it's like 
I'm nowhere near like I don't have spa breaks every weekend and all of that jazz. I mean, <laughs> my um, the when I was at the last log cabin last year, the lady said you should kind of look at your body like your hair, like you have your hair or nails maintained once a month and that. And I thought, <laughs> not this hair. Have you seen the roots? Um, my hair gets done as and when. My nails, okay, I agree. My nails, I do every month. And she said you should look at your body like that. She said like you should have a massage every month. And I was like. But it's an expense, like you don't need it. She was like, but you don't realise you need it until you have it. She says, think of like your daily posture, the stresses, like, and I do get it. I do understand it. But I think because I'm not someone who does spas all the time. So if I was to go to one or I was like going to get away, I'd like to enjoy myself, you know. And I tell you what is really good. Going on the Virgin Experience days, you would have seen a Christmas. I got mum and dada some absolutely love them because you can get some right old bargains you know and also just type in google like best spas in england i literally <laughs> this is me dobbing myself in there when i'm at work and i've done my work and i think what can i do i just look at places to go or i go on daily mail and go on the travel section people probably think shan you sad though but i just love to see it's not necessarily always about flying away it's just seeing what is out there to like get away for a night and just switch off for a new experience But, for this I'm afraid I would have to get on a plane. I don't know how long the plane ride would be. But, so, if I went to Dubai, I would love to stay at Atlantis. The Atlantis, I don't know. It just seems to be the place that everyone goes, doesn't it? Um, or the, I want to say Burj Khalifa. It's at the other hotel in Dubai. I'm not too sure, but. For me, if I went to Dubai, I'd like to stay at Atlantis Palm. I was on um, Google one day, typed in Atlantis, did not realise, didn't even know this existed. Guys, did you know there's an Atlantis in the Bahamas? Bahamas? Caribbean? Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you actually see where I'm going with this? Oh my goodness, when I saw this, I was just like, what? Since when? Like, who? What? Where? Why did I not know about this? It looks... <laughs> wow amazing let me tell you that absolutely amazing now i have no idea where this is i have a feeling it could be potentially up north it's an area in england called cleveland and if i remember correctly when i searched it up the postcode is like ts i feel like it's up potentially like t side that might just be me being an absolute klutz and thinking tst side but if you know where Cleveland is in England, please let me know. I would love to stay. It's called the Ground Keeper's Cottage. And it is basically a life-size reenactment model, in essence, of Hagrid's hut. You know me. Love a bit of Harry Potter. Guys, it's so cute. It is so cute and quirky. It's nothing like a log cabin. It is literally like you see Hagrid's hut in the films. Hagrid's hut and the interior. Oh, my God, guys, the interior. So, so cute. And I think if I... If I remember vaguely on the website, it's not just that. Like, they do other things. So, there's, like, a plot that has a building that is something, I think, to do with Lord of the Rings, like a reenactment of it. Oh, Harry Potter, though, for me, all the way, all the way. Complete different turn. This is what I mean. My travelling is so, like, one minute there, then we're there, then we're there, then we're here, then we're there. Sweden. You're probably thinking, Sham, why do you want to stay in Sweden? Ice Hotel. You know I love an ice bar. You know that I love the whole cold atmosphere. Cold like my soul, as Mama G says. An ice hotel. If you have not done anything today, Google an ice hotel. Oh my God, you're probably going to look at it and think, imagine sleeping on a block of ice. How comfortable or uncomfortable would that be? I don't care. I just think it would be such an amazing experience you get like um big throws in that to go over you but the photos that i've seen i'm just like wow like actually wow it's all well and good going on like these lovely warm holidays and that but something like that is truly like an experience you would never ever get like we get ice bars here and i absolutely love that but to actually stay in an ice hotel that's just next level in it <laughs> guys that is next level Shangri-La we're gonna go back to a uh, London London town let's just say Shangri-La 
Shangri-La indeed. There's actually quite a lot of hotels in London that I've seen, but London is a big place, you know, so I don't want to sit here and be like, yep, la 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 la, because there are loads, there are absolutely loads. There is one directly Hyde Park, when you come out of it, I cannot for the life of me remember the name, I feel like it begins with C. I don't know what, we see it every year when we come out of Hyde Park and I'm just like, it has a huge Christmas tree in the front. I would love to do that. I would love to do like the very classic kind of hotels, you know, like you have Claridge's and Dorchester and the Ritz and all that. They're like very old school, traditional London. But I would also like to try like the Shangri-La and like kind of the upcoming modern hotels, you know, if you understand. If you know any... um hotels within London that you would recommend please do let me know down below as I say always here for suggestions and then we all know I love animals okay and there are various ones of these over the UK but probably nearest to me is a place called Port Lymph and it is basically a safari zoo hotel <laughs> you can go in the day go to the um, hotels go into the zoos you can have like safari tours and then they have these like lodges or rooms, but they will be of different animals. So I think it's like an elephant, giraffe, I want to say like a lion, potentially a leopard. I'm not too sure, but it's like you stay on complex. And I think it could potentially be there or it might be another one. You can do like a sunset or like a evening tour around the zoo, which... Imagine seeing them like in their sleepy time. We, well, saying that half the time I go to the zoos, they are in sleepy time. <laughs> Animals will just sleep and do whatever they want. You can't control them. But yeah, I think that would definitely be one to like tick off the list. But hey ho, eh? Even if I got to do one of these places on here, whether that be a city break and abroad or a hotel, I'd be very happy. I'd be a very, very happy girl. But this is probably going to grow and grow. So if there are any other additions, best believe next year we'll have like an ultimate, ultimate bucket list. Because I have a feeling that once I actually put my mind to it, and I don't know about you guys, I need to clear out my phone and iPad because you know when you see something on maybe like TikTok or Instagram, I will either save it, so then I've got to go through all of my saved, or I just screenshot it. So I feel like I need to go through all my screenshots, make notes of everything, decide which blooming journal or pad or whatever I'm going to have for my travels, and then start creating something, eh? Start creating something indeed. What I do need to start creating is maybe a little refill on this. But shall we end up getting into the uh, outro before we absolutely sit here and wrap it on forever? So guys and girls, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. And as I say, please, anything that I've mentioned on this video, if you know any tips or tricks or where to go or what to do or what not to do, where not to go, where not to stay and everything like that, please leave them down below in the comments box. I will be trying to get back to all of you. Still, even now, I'm catching up on comments from Christmas. I do apologise. I wanted to try and get it done over the weekend, but as you can hear, I'm still a little bit, not 100%, so we need to kind of like shift this before we can um, fully sit down and crack on because I'm not going to lie, I still feel like my energy is quite zapped and I hate to be going through comments and not replying like, fully focusing you know so as you will know it might take me a while some of them i see have been sitting in there for like three weeks and that absolutely sickens me because i think shan how rude but i haven't been well it's christmas i'm hoping this week i'm gonna like fully get back on track get back in the gym hopefully get rid of this last lingering cough which is just not blooming going it's not blooming going and then i can be all up to date but yeah any suggestions i would be uh <laughs> i would highly appreciate that for sure but next month next month guys if you're not following any of my instagrams they're always down in the descriptions box below go over please give them a follow because next month's travel diaries is going to kind of be like a q a i want to start bringing in a little bit of a q a session so next month we're going to be talking about solo travels so i'm not sitting here saying like yeah i know everything about solo travels i've done one abroad solo travel but i've done a few like little log cabins and uk breaks and bits and bobs so i'm gonna have it as kind of like a solo travel q a if you want to know any like tips tricks or just ask any questions in general i would like to do that so i'm also thinking of a few other q a bits that we can do within travel diaries so don't think that this series is like not gonna be on for months because we're not going away there is so much that i still want to do to like branch out 
this topic you know and uh, I hope you enjoy the travel diaries along the way I don't want to rabbit on anymore because you're probably sick of seeing Shan <laughs> with no makeup on looking like this sanding like this so I will let you get on with your days my lovelies if you did enjoy the video the guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and as I say leave me comments anything at all anything you want to say if you've been to any of the places or are on some of these maybe on your list let us know are we twinning but yes take care stay safe as always and I shall see you on upload day because i don't know when this is going up so i'll see you on the next upload day all right guys bye